Celebrate 75 years of joy with this new edition featuring more than 4,000 recipes, classic and new. Welcome to a whole new generation of joy. What would Thanksgiving be without a variety of delicious pies? Afraid of making your own pie crust? Follow our techniques and you'll turn out light crusts that flake at the touch of a fork. Here we have two and a half cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon white sugar. You can also use a tablespoon of powdered sugar instead and one teaspoon salt. Mix thoroughly with a spatula. Next, we add half a cup of butter cut into small pieces and half a cup of vegetable shortening cut into larger chunks. You can also use shortening by itself. Cut the fat into the dry ingredients with a pastry blender. If you don't have one of these, you can use two knives working in opposite directions. And here's what it looks like when we're done. You'll see a mixture of pea-sized and cornmeal-sized chunks. It should seem dry and powdery and not pasty or greasy. Now, we'll sprinkle a third of a cup plus one tablespoon ice water over the flour and fat mixture. The water needs to be cold here to keep the fat from melting. Cut through the mixture until it looks evenly moistened and starts to form small balls. If the balls stick together under pressure, you've added enough water. If not, add another tablespoon or two of ice water and try again. This looks good. Press down until everything sticks together. The dough should look rough, not smooth. Now, turn the dough out and divide it in two. Press each half into a round and flattened disc. Wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes, preferably for several hours. Now, we're ready to roll. First, make some room and dust your rolling pin and work surface with flour. The secret to rolling dough is to lean into the pin rather than down on it. Use firm strokes and try and get the dough into shape with the least number of strokes possible. Add more flour if you need to. Roll from the center outward, almost to the edge. You can do this by rotating the dough rather than moving your rolling pin. Roll the dough three to four inches larger than your pan. This will allow plenty of dough for covering the pan and constructing a rim. There are two easy methods of getting the dough into your pie pan. One way is to carefully roll the dough loosely around the rolling pin, center the pin over the pie plate, and then unroll the dough. The second is to fold the dough into halves or in quarters, place it in the pan, and unroll to cover. Be sure to press the dough against the bottom and into the corners of the pan before molding to the sides. Otherwise, the crust will stretch and might break. If you're crimping with a fork, Feel free to trim the edge of the crust right up to the edge of your pie pan. Or trim all but three quarters of an inch from the rim. Roll the edge under and flute. Now that you've made a crust from scratch, be sure to pick up your joy of cooking to see the next steps in baking a mouth-watering pie. Here's wishing you good food, good friends, and a joyful Thanksgiving table.